Hey friends, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaden, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a charcuterie board. So this charcuterie board is for some of my friends. They are hosting a surprise birthday dinner for a friend, um, and they asked me if I could make a charcuterie for the dinner. And I was excited because I've not been able to make one in quite some time, just because I haven't been able to host with the quarantine. And I'm not gonna be able to attend the dinner, but I am making this ahead of time and then I'm gonna wrap it up and send it over. Now I wanna go ahead and start with the tray that I'm using. Normally when I make a charcuterie at my place, I do it on a big wooden board but I wanted something that has um, like an edge to kind of hold everything since this will be transported. And I just have these two little containers. These are for dips. Uh, this one I'm gonna put fruit dip in. And then this one is for a dip that the host wants to have. So the first thing I'm gonna add is I have some salami. Okay, so I picked up the salami from Kroger. I did a grocery pickup for all of this. And really you can use any deli meat that you want. Uh, you can use ham, turkey, salami, pepperoni. I've used all of those before. Sometimes I use multiple meats, but this one's kind of supposed to be fruit centered. So I just kept it simple and just wanted to add in some salami. I kind of want to yeah, that looks nice. Okay. Now, the key to a charcuterie board is to just kind of make everything look abstract. Oh, also, I'm making some cookies, so I may have to kind of pause here and there for that. If you hear the oven. No, I like this better. Okay, so now that we have added in some meat. Okay, I have some left over. I may use them, I may not. I just kinda wanna see what all I can. I'm gonna add in some apples. I just dropped a grape. So you can use cheese slices, you can use blocks of cheese. I really enjoy using blocks of cheese, but because this is a fruit centered tray, I just stuck to cheese cubes. I tend to provide a variety of cheeses. Today I have Cheddar Jack and uh, just extra sharp cheddar. So this is nothing too crazy fancy. I just picked it up at my Kroger pickup, but Kroger is amazing for charcuterie content. One of my favorite things to do with cheese is get a cheese that has fruit in it. Um, I like to do cranberries or blueberries. Actually, hold on. Before I add the cheese, I think I'm gonna add some little baby dill pickles into this corner right here. You can always go back and fill in spots. So I try to kind of leave space to go back and do that. Okay, now for the cheese. So I'm gonna take some of the Colby Jack and just sprinkle that in right there. I'm trying to kind of put the cheese near the meat because a lot of times that will pair well together. And then again down here. I 
The only other thing that I have is these pita chips. They are Parmesan cheese and basil and they are amazing and they're gonna go really well with this dip. So I need to try and kind of squeeze some room over here. I am not going to place the chips on the tray today because I'm gonna leave room um, because it's gonna go in the fridge for a little while and I don't want these chips. Well, actually. Now I'm gonna go back through and add in a little more of the fruit just here and there to try and make it as packed as possible. friends that is how I set up the charcuterie this took me about 10 minutes and I really probably would have been able to complete it quicker if I wasn't filming this dish is gonna have cream cheese and pepper jelly and that's why I have the crackers right here and then like I said in this dish there will be fruit dip but I'm gonna wait until closer I'm just gonna send those items with the tray Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos.